Hey, my name is Sean Brown and I'm a singer songwriter based in Cork City in Ireland and I am making a music video and I'm documenting it. So this is the next installment in my making a, another music video series for my song Last Life, which is on Spotify if you want. Uh, so I am here beside my <laughs> beside my big blue fridge as usual. Uh, the reason why I am um, always sitting beside my big blue fridge is because there's a perfect plug socket there uh, just beside the fridge and also right behind the camera is a set of glass double doors so there's loads and loads of lighting that comes in uh, which means that I don't have to spend money on expensive lighting so that is why I'm always beside my big blue fridge but I got a good bit done and I got some nice things that came uh, that just turned out really really great so let me show you uh, what I've got done I'm going to turn on my light pad there you go and see if I can get a good shot here. Is that a good shot? It's a crooked shot, but it's a shot all the same. So I did a goldfish bowl. Uh, I was very proud of it. I thought it was very, very cute. I did my little um, plant and some rocks at the bottom. To go into my uh, bowl, I did some Aztec fish. Aztec fishies, how cute are they? They're so cute, aren't they? I think I'm going to uh, animate some little little bubbles coming up um, to, to just make it even cuter. Why I did a fish bowl is because I want to try and get one of the fish to jump out uh, because um, it's a thing. Some goldfish uh, like to jump out of their goldfish bowls and flap around wherever they land the poor things. Um, and there's a few reasons for this. Uh, it could be because their environment has become too toxic for them. Scientists reckon that goldfish do this as well because from an evolutionary standpoint, it would have been, um, it would have been good for them to, to uh, expand their horizons with their habitat and find, find new parts of their habitat, find new places to eat. And they did that by jumping out of streams, you know, um, the way the salmon jump upstream and all that. So that's the whole thing really, evolution and um, just trying to escape a toxic environment is why uh, I'm doing the goldfish bowl. So my nebula tissue paper came. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. I can't believe it is. So it worked out so well. I was really, really nervous about it. I was thinking of putting different, different bits and pieces on it that I've already made. Wow, look at that. Um, just bits of the mandalas that I've done. Um, yeah. Oh, they look so good, don't they? Ah, cool. Um, I'm going to do things like spinning, you know, spinning Triscoll through the galaxy and uh, spinning Seed of Life through the galaxy. Trippy shit. <laughs> this is going to be really cool. Wow. I haven't uh, put these on these yet. These on here yet. And now I'm seeing that it looks it looks cosmic. It looks super cool. I'm very, very happy with that. Actually, I want to try another one. Let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. This is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly. I'll show you the other ones that I got. There you go. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Wow. That's very pretty. Cool. Oh, that is very pretty. I also did... Um, a couple of black holes that was my my uh my idea to have oh wow they look so cool a couple of black holes spinning together you know um when galaxies collide when galaxies collide um yeah so that was what i wanted to do with that this is the mandala i i just happened to see it you know when i was looking at nebula tissue paper you know when you google nebula tissue paper and I went onto this site and when I was picking my my uh, nebulas this popped up in the side and I just thought oh well I'm doing mandalas anyway be interesting to see what this looks like it looks super cool actually I'm gonna try and see see if some of my mandala stuff looks good in there oh wow okay cool I'm really glad I got this that's really cool so that's a bit trippy um I wonder actually hang on That might be good for the eye. Oh, it looks so amazing. Well, it looks like somebody's really strung out, to be honest. But uh, it looks really, really cool. Even if I just put that there, maybe. 
Wow, oh, like it's gone. You can't really see it now, but I'm sure it'll come up properly in the video. Yeah, it's coming back there now. But that looks super cool. I could just like blink that and it would look amazing. Wow, I'm really pleased with that. I had one more as well. Um, oh, I think this is my favorite. Wow. This is my favorite because it's all my favorite colors, purples and blues. And actually, um, I made a couple of more characters. I made a, a, a dragon in, in memory of my Welsh grandma who passed away in uh, January. I said I'd, I'd definitely have to stick another dragon in there. So here she is. And I've made her so that you can kind of stretch her out in a way that, uh, like kind of like a Chinese dragon that she, and then she could fly through the cosmos. Fly through the cosmos with the greatest of these. Um, yeah, so she's cool. And I've made her in a snaky kind of a way. So I can uh, do bits of animation. It's kind of awkward when I'm trying to do it upside down, um, but I can make bits, you know, make her like snake around the, the nebula. Look at you all snaking around the nebula. Um, okay, and I got, also, I did this cosmic dolphin. Isn't she pretty? Oh, I love her. I think that um, I could definitely do a, a children's animated couple of videos <laughs> with cosmic dolphin. She's such a cosmic dolphin from another galaxy. Do -do 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 -do. She's cosmic. Oh, and you know what as well? Uh, where have my fishies gone? Cosmic dolphin and friends yeah that could be the whole that could be it they're so cute it could be a cool little animation actually cosmic dolphin and friends god i could like model it off all the cartoons that i used to love i used to love things like the snorks and um yeah i used to love things with puppets in them anything with a puppet in them i would love oh i'm so happy um uh, look at that now if i put like that, oh my God, this is getting really cool. I'm very, very happy. I'm going to uh, dim the light pad. There you go, and bring it up here. There, so that's what I've gotten done. Um, some of these things I only just saw myself now. So I'm really, really, really happy with them, especially like the dolphin and the, the dragon and the fish and, Oh, the uh, the Triscoll on spiraling around the nebula and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be great. I'm really excited now. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I am nearing the end. I can see the finish line in sight. I've done most of the stuff on my storyboard. I've got to figure out a few more bits and pieces. I have to, but I was thinking last night, it just came to me that actually the answers probably lie in post-production in Final Cut Pro because in Final Cut Pro, you can spin things and you can zoom out. And I was wondering how I was going to do that animation here, but I think I can use Final Cut Pro, so that's great. I've got to do a city. I've just got to do a city and a few more bits and pieces. I've got to figure out the green screen thing. It's a possibility that I can't do the green screen thing, but that's okay, because if I can't do it, I'll just animate like a stick woman playing the hang drum and, and that'll be that. It'll be fine. Uh, but I've got to try at least. Um, yeah, you got to try, don't you? Uh, there's there's ways around most things. Uh, you just got to keep trying and then you hit on the right thing. So I've also got like a big essay for my supervision diploma to do as well. So I have a lot of things to be doing, but I'm just so pleased with the Nebula tissue paper. You really can just Google anything and get, get them, can't you? I just Googled nebula tissue paper and I found them. So I was really happy about that. Yeah, so watch out for uh, Cosmic Dolphin and Friends. Ah, God, oh, do you know what I wish I had? I wish I had like some kind of a puppet watch now. Uh, two, two more weeks into lockdown <laughs> and I'll be doing my own sock puppets or something. God, I wish I had zag, zig and zag or some, some, I wish I had my own puppet friend. To, uh, to to do these things with. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm silly, but I'm definitely silly. All right, I better go. I'm going to leave it there. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.